creation. He's the hippest cat in creation. He's the alpha, the omega, A to Z. Check. Hello, hello. Well, you leave the door open a little too long there, brace yourself. You got to play better defense. Check. Evening reset. How are you all doing? What's going on? Evening, Raven. Evening, Hape. Psionic. Good evening, Psionic. Shawnee, sniped. Brace yourself. Good afternoon, Walk Ninja. Good evening. Centauri, good evening. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing? Oh, good morning, Larson. You know, Larson, you have an emote for morning. We have a morning emote. We have an evening emote. We have an afternoon emote. Just because people all around the world might be watching. What's up, Jado? Tander, good evening. There you go. Look at that. All right. How are you all? What's going on? Hope you all had a good Thursday. That is what today was, right? I've started to lose track. Um... I'm just watching Astro has already laid down on the ottoman. And Sammy's by my feet. So they're both assuming the positions. Uh, what's going on, Panda? Hope you all had a good day today. What did I do? Um, How's the surrender? Afternoon rally snail. I... Oh, I got my wife a wine advent calendar. Have you seen these? A box of wine that you're it's small bottles um i think each bottle has like two glasses worth in it and every day starting december 1st leading up to christmas is a bottle of wine and you don't know what it's going to be until that day have you seen that i did it last year gotta sneeze no i'm not gonna sneeze i won't do it i won't do it i did it last year but you have to you have to get them early because they sell out so fast uh, I mean, it's October, beginning of October, and you've got to grab one. And, you know, we're talking two months away. Uh, you got one, Panda? I sneezed last year. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I'm sure there's a video of it somewhere. Saw one at Costco the other day, wondered if it was any good. I can tell you the one that I got for 24 which it says is the equivalent of six bottles of wine. It was $80, $79.99. Part of it is... And, and rallies now you're right they're a little expensive but part of it is just you know the the fun of it i guess uh however i i'm pretty sure the the wines themselves are not great um i think they're evening, maybe even ladies and gentlemen part boxed wine which is fine my wife drinks boxed wine it doesn't matter uh devious good evening so i did that today and then um did some laundry you know, because I'm the only one here. Um, unloaded the dishwasher. I've been cleaning the computer room. Straightened up the laundry room a little bit. Um, just tried to be remotely productive. Kind of. You know, and listen, I'm not, not going crazy here. But, um, yeah. Keep in mind, alcohol is more expensive. That's true. Yeah, it is, Rally Snail. Rather just buy one or two bottles of reasonable quality and savor them. Yeah, but wine is hard to savor because it can go bad so quick. You know? Um. Well, so last night was a long flight, and today is a shorter flight. It'll still... I think it will still get us um, to our destination around 2 a.m. my time so i think distance wise it will work um that being said we probably won't have a ton of time for in-flight entertainment we might only be able to play one game of something whatever that is i'm not sure so we'll see pretty sure mrs flig is coming back in two days yes mrs flig is coming back in two days it's true shield. devious full access rotation to port final ventral phases What's up, Captain? Captain, what's going on with you? 
Um, and Jado posted update nav data before loading sim. I did do that. Also, I will say I did the small update. It was like a 40 meg update for um, the sim. And uh, it took no time to load in this 737. So it was not affected by the, the update. I'm going to do the 600 tonight because, you know, it's not as long a flight. Oh, my gosh. Captain, I know. Is it over yet? Did they put them out of their misery? It was 9 to 6. It was a high-scoring baseball game. Uh, Jado says, I won an argument with my wife today. So tomorrow she goes to Lowe's to pick up a BTT. Now, what would that mean? A uh, uh, blowtorch torch. A uh, 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 burger time burger time taco uh uh butane torch torch um briquette bacon tomato taco uh uh bacon uh tomato tanwich a big turd toilet uh okay the argument was over whether btt's was a thing or not google settled it with one search <laughs> bacon turkey tortilla tortilla <laughs> I, I could have been here all night guessing what P btt stood for bacon turkey tortilla right raven raven loves the tortillas uh basic theory test that that could be one sure yeah or just bravo tango tango you're not reacting. Don't you react. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth anyone's time to react. Um, brutal tortilla torture. <laughs> um, oh, man. So, um, oh, there was... Oh, I've been watching... Uh, Brace Yourself told me to, and I posted it in, in Discord. I've been watching... What's up, Sax Man? Yeah, I saw that. Saxman won tickets to go see Muse on Saturday. That sucks. Um, you know, because Conk Republic is playing Saturday and... You know. Who are you going to go see? <coughs> um, you love M Muse more than me. See... See, that's why I love you. Your honesty. Um, I've seen Muse live. Do you have lasers? No, but Muse does. Um, listen, I've seen, I've seen Muse. It was probably about ten years ago, and it was great. It was I'll a great mine. concert. All right, Centauri. BTT is BitTorrent token, apparently. Yeah, you're going to go to Lowe's to get a BitTorrent token. Um. I really enjoyed the Muse show that we saw. Our seats were really far away, but but it was still really good to go see them. Um, uh, there was something I was gonna say. Oh, um, yeah, I was watching. Uh, Brace yourself. Did you finish those Haiti videos? I posted one in Discord. I'm through the first three. Each of them are like thirty minutes long, but they are so crazy. If you all didn't catch that video where they're fighting over fuel. Petrol, as they say. Um, man, check that guy out. Those are some crazy videos. Well, we should fly. It's 11.22 my time, and if everything goes well, we'll be off the ground at midnight. And then we can get up in the air and decide where we go from there. Oh, I've got a sneeze. What's going on in Iran? Oh, I did it. Yes. So nice. What's this track? Um, here, hold on. You like this song, Devious? However, this is the instrumental version. But I'm sure if you see that, you can find the, the regular version. Oh, yes. Thank you, Shadow, for the preemptive. Simbrief only shows this is 122 in the air. Really? Because it said on mine it was two hours. 
It's interesting. Oh, it does say an hour and 20. Oh, it said two hours when I was doing it in SimBrief, but now I see where it says an hour and 20. <clears throat> Excuse me. You need new study music? Gotcha. Yeah. Sometimes the instrumental stuff is good for studying. Um, yeah, what's going on? What's going on in Iran? Oh, you, I see what you said. I don't want to get political, but women are protesting all over the country by burning their head covers. Wow. Wow. Jeez. This makes me... That Iran... Uh, Makes me remember last night's GeoGuessr guess. I still can't believe I got that. All right. Well, let's see here. Look at these little jetways. Remember, this is the free add-on. They couldn't be bothered to connect the jetways. Wow, look at the mountains in the distance. Crazy. We're going to Afghanistan today. We're going to Balk. It's a town in the Balk province of Afghanistan. Uh, about 20 kilometers northwest of the provincial capital, mazar i sharif And some 74 kilometers south of the Amu Darya River. Balkh was historically an ancient place of religions, Zoroastrianism and Buddhism, and one of the wealthiest and largest cities of Khorasan since the latter's earliest history. The city was known to Persians as Zaryaspa and to the ancient Greeks as Bactra. Marco Polo described Bach as a noble and great city, but these days it's mostly ruins, which is why you'll be landing at the nearby airport of Mazar el Sharif International. Of note about this airport, though it was originally constructed with two parallel runways, the northernmost runway has since been converted into a taxiway. The remaining runway, what's up, Sir Chancellor? The remaining runway is 9,800 feet. The airport has facilities for up to a thousand passengers, making it one of the largest airports in Afghanistan. How you doing, Sir Chancellor? We are on West, Vigorish. We are on West. Um, did you end up playing Jackbox at all during the long flight? It was um. Well, we did two separate polls of Play-Doh. We did one poll, and everybody voted GeoGuessr. And then we played two games of GeoGuessr, and then we said, okay, let's do another poll, and they all voted for GeoGuessr again. By, by a lot. I mean, it was not close. So... Uh, Sir Chancellor, I'm doing well. Glad you're here. Um, been watching the dogs. Both of them sitting on the chair behind me. Being good. Just been a quiet week. Been a quiet week. Been trying to clean up a little bit around the house. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, Larson said, I made the, f the two first Silk Road legs after your stream yesterday, so now I'm on schedule. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, well, we might, might as well have a drink. Cheers, everyone. What's everybody drinking? What's everybody drinking? Jado's having a mocha latte, latte mocha. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Devious is having water. Cherry iced tea. That's good. Dr. Pepper. Modelo's from Wiffy, root beer, actually correct. Steep tea double double, Mr. Figgity says. Larson's having an energy drink. Raven's having a Mountain Dew. Reset nothing. Nothing reset. 
I always like I always like to have something close by to drink. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Well done, DVS. You only drink when you're thirsty? Well, yes. Uh, when I'm in this room, it gets hot. So I usually need something. Uh, Tanders having Dr. Pepper as well. Interesting. Two Dr. Peppers. Uh, Broncos theme Bud Light. Are you really? Bittersweet's having a brisk iced tea. Good evening, Midnight Fluting. What are you drinking tonight, Midnight Fluting? And Midnight Fluting, are you all on fall break? Do you get a fall break? I wonder why I'm not seeing liveries. Crisp Mountain Dew. Have I heard of that? Crisp Mountain Dew? Maybe I, maybe I have? Diet Pepsi. No fall break. No breaks at all until Thanksgiving. Now, at Thanksgiving, do you get a full week or only Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? It's just cold and fresh. Gotcha. Gotcha. I didn't know if it was like a certain kind. I'm going to go for it. Since we've got a little time, I'm going to go for the boarding and see see how much I get screwed on this. We get a full week, but it's a long stretch to get there. Yeah, so we only get three days, but I'm wondering where you all make it up. Maybe you all get out of school earlier. Vigorish, I do, but I don't fly it. The last couple times I've flown it, I've gotten really bad frames. I don't know. It's probably something on my end. Um, but the 730, the PMDG 737 requested. just runs so much better on my hardware. What's going on, Simple? We had an overnight freshman retreat going on. You just know that school is getting trashed. Sure. Yeah. I can't imagine anything good coming about, about from that. We're going to find out, Wingnut. Looks like we're okay. Looks like we're okay. Now, not sure how they're loading in from here. But whatever. I Whiffy said started. last night was rough. Longest flight for me... Uh, so far, I, I I know it was not not my longest, but it might have been my longest distance. Now I will tell you there is there is an achievement for Lexington to Las Vegas, and it's also really about the same distance. So if we want to get that achievement, it's another long flight. If we would have flown at 280, it would have shaved 30 minutes off. Boarding starting. Dang. Is that Denver game over? Oh my gosh, it's in overtime. Captain, you're gonna have to give me updates. Nine to nine. Wh Just awful. Because who doesn't want more of this? Do I get credit for the flight yesterday since I was added mid-flight? Um, that will be up to the admin. The team! The team! Go team! Go sports! <laughs> go sports! Yeah, you have to complete the whole flight, but... Like, did you take off from the airport that you're supposed to take off from? Because you can't do just half the flight. That's that's what I thought, Wingnut. You did the whole thing. You're just saying you were added as a Fliggity Air pilot halfway through. Is what you're saying. I'll let you discuss that with uh, the admin. Hmm. 
pulling up a checklist. All right. Morning. 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 CTD with the 737 since update 10. You're saying for you, Simple? I haven't had that issue. Not once. Not once. Put it in the vault. I'm locking the vault. It's a vault! You just got your turbo fixed. I see the icon next to your name. What was wrong with it? Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you, Captain. Okay, turning on ground power. Now we'll get lights. So I've talked a little bit on channel or on stream uh, about the school that I teach at has been going undergoing construction. They tore down our old school over the summer, and they already had a new school built behind it. Um, and we've been in the new school um, since we started school in August. But since school started, construction has still been going on um, to, to finish a parking lot. They have to do a lot of... Um, landscaping stuff they've still got to put up a bunch of signs there's a ton of dirt that get put sod down and um since we're on fall break uh the construction company was told that they had to be done by the time we went back to school this coming monday so they have they have 72 hours left they have tomorrow saturday sunday that's it and I drove up there tonight to go see how they were doing since it's been five days since I've been there, since fall break's been going on. Drove up there and man, they are not close. It still looks like a construction site. There's dirt everywhere. Um, there's no grass. There's, they're repaving areas. The parking lot that they're supposed to finish isn't even remotely done. The parking lot that they're doing, there's no recess. It's high school vigorish. Um, the parking lot that they're doing, listen to this. They're not using blacktop asphalt. They're not using asphalt. The reason is, if they did, there's no drainage. There's no drainage. It would just flood. So what they've done is they've put gravel in this parking lot, and they are laying brick that's like pallets of brick that have these little interlocking pieces next to the brick. Like, like they almost kind of look like sideways Legos. You can't say Legos. Lego. Lego is the plural of Lego. So, like, it looks like a brick and then, like, a little nub. And then that interlocks with another one that has, like, two nubs. And it's like a pallet. And they're laying these pallet of brick. The entire parking lot is going to be covered in brick. And they've only got it, like, a third done. So, I'm very curious. And we have a practice. We have a band practice on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. We might not even be able to make it get to where our practice field is because they've got so much stuff roped off so I'm, I'm just very curious if we're going to be dealing with that permeable pavement no 
No, it's just supposed to allow the water to drain between them. Uh, my credit card, Mr. Figgity said, got compromised just in time for renewal. Just got the new card, but had to update Exola. Never heard of that. As well as Twitch for it to work. Twitch had a bad habit of playing ads when you were saying something important. I see. I see. Okay, so I've done the IRS there. Uh, passenger signs. Electronic hydraulic pumps. Yaw damper. Window heat. Left half fuel pump. And wait for that. Sounds like there will be liquidated damages on the table. Let the project managers duke it out. So one of the parking lots, so we have a campus of a high school, middle school, and elementary school all next to each other on the same piece of property. And when they did this new construction, they did redo a parking lot by the middle school with this brick. And um, yeah, we'll see how it works. So far, so good, I guess. Okay, I'm waiting for my APU to drop. The temperature. Okay, so now APU bleed. APU gins. Packs to auto. Isolation valve is good. FMC. Okay, so we are departing from runway two six. So it's to our left. Are you all over there already? Yes, you are. I see your names. Okay. So we got that. That heading is 262. Go on and put that in so I don't forget. Now, the we're not using any SIDS. We're not using any SIDS. Okay. So now, we might as well pull up our destination. And there are no um, uh, stars. Four, ILS 24. We're going to be, it looks like we're going to be landing right next to these mountains. That could be kind of cool. That'll be pretty. Okay. Uh, how do you get MSFS to look that good? I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary short final. This is just just the normal flight sim. Now the frames aren't great right now. Fourth and one at the five for the Broncos. Are they going to kick a field goal? Just kick a field goal. I've never heard of reshade short final. I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's now go to our FMC. So let's do a few things. Fuel, um, according to SimBrief, we are going to have 
65.59. Let's see what one third of that is. That's perfect. Let's do one third. Okay. And then is the boarding process done? Looks like it. Let's see what they say. Yeah, boarding completed. Let's do catering. Catering vehicles are on their way. Okay. Now. So let's go to FMC. So we are at ZWSH. Okay. And clear those letters. And request. Uh oh. Oops. I thought I did this. I guess I didn't. I thought I did this earlier. Okay, give me a second. I see. I did it, but it didn't refresh for the airports we're currently at. Okay. Went for it. Incomplete. Game over. Why wouldn't they kick a field goal? Why wouldn't they kick a field goal? They they wanted they were going for the win. I know it freaks people out that I watch sports. It's like you're a Twitch streamer playing flight sim. Why why do you why do you watch sports? I've I've watched them all my life. Grew up watching college football and basketball. Only two minutes left, so they weren't gonna get the ball back. Okay. Okay. So now let's go to departures and arrivals. So we are departing from, because I always forget, 26 with no SIDS. And then we are arriving runway 24. We'll do ILS 24. There are no stars. And that says transition one, two, or five. Boy, they are very creative with their transition names. Well, what could it be? One, two, or five. I don't, I don't see anything that says one, two, or five. Like this one says comb, and that one says AMS. And that one says D15. But I don't see anything with just round numbers for transitions. So I won't deal with them. Two is a straightish in approach. Sure, okay. If that's the case. No, I didn't do that. 24. People have varied interests. I know it's weird. I know. People don't understand it with me for some reason. All right, so the catering is done. And let's 
go on and prepare for pushback. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I gotta get the announcements. are stowed prior to closing the aircraft door. Your items may be placed in an overhead compartment or completely under the seat in front of you. Use caution when placing items in or removing them from the overhead compartment and let us know if we may be of assistance. In order to expedite the boarding process, please be seated as quickly as possible after stowing your carry-on items. Take a moment to review the safety instructions card in your seat pocket. Passengers seated in an exit row are also asked to review the exit row seating requirements. If you're seated in an exit row, you may be required to assist the crew in an evacuation. If you're unable or unwilling to perform the functions described on the car, just ask to be reseated. Thank you. What's up, Amplify? Uh, nice back scene. Well, thank you. This is this is what it always looks behind the green screen. Looks like behind the green screen. But my wife and daughters are out for the week for fall break, and so I've been watching the dogs all week, and I need to be able to see them. And if, uh, if, um, the green screen's up, I can't see them. So I have to watch them. Okay, I'll do that in a second. I need to make sure before they just start pushing me back that I've got everything, got everything ready. I'm not ready yet. Um,. But yeah, hopefully, um, I'd like to get a new camera, uh, like a nice camera, and hook into it. Um, hook it into the computer and then be able to have a little bit better image quality for the backdrop as well. So, we'll see. Okay, cruise wind. Let's see. Um, okay, it looks like the wind is not nearly as bad this flight. 253, 58 knots. that in for now until we get up in the air and look at it a little bit better okay legs are done departures are done or departure arrivals done I guess we're going to flight level 380 I put 360 but I'm gonna do 380 because that's what's in here so I'm just gonna stick with it we'll go to 38 okay let's keep moving altimeter transponder Um, Wiffy, we'll play the Filgers commercial, um, as we're climbing. Okay, now, uh, we might as well go on and put in our ILS frequency. Survey says 109.1. Fueling, loading, boarding is done. Takeoff data is set. Cruising altitude, we're doing 38. It 
It's a great point, Wiffy. Okay, 38. Uh, flight directors. Okay, I think we're ready for this pushback. So we want tail to the right. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Prepare doors for departure and cross-check. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attention while important safety information is reviewed. In preparation for departure, be certain that your seat back is straight up and your tray table is stowed. Make sure your carry-on items are placed completely under the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin. Portable telephones are not approved for use in flight. However, you may need certain other electronic devices when advised by your crew. You made it just in time, yes. In the cabin. Perfect timing. For everyone's safety, regulations require your compliance with all lighted signs, placards, and crew member instructions. If you don't know how to operate, John, how was your day? You probably shouldn't be out in public unsupervised. Please use the safety instructions card in your seat pocket in front of you. It explains the safety features of this aircraft, as well as the location and operation of exits and flotation devices. Uh oh, stop it! Your seat cushion, sir. Stop it! Approved flotation device. Oh, thank to goodness. It, pull up and bring it with you to the nearest usable exit. Paddle to shore and enjoy them with our compliments. There may be 50 ways to leave your lover, but there are far fewer ways off of this airplane. Take a moment to locate the nearest exit to you, keeping in mind that the closest usable exit may be located behind you. If there's a loss of aircraft electrical power, low-level emergency lights will illuminate. All exits are indicated by lighted exit signs and by red floor level lights. Uh, Larson, I've already done fuel. In the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, masks will descend from the ceiling. To start the flow of oxygen, reach up and pull the mask towards you, fully extending the plastic tubing. Stop screaming, grab the mask, and pull it over your face. To tighten the fit, pull the tab on each side of the mask. The bag does not need to fully inflate when oxygen is flowing. If you have a small child traveling with you, secure your mask before assisting with theirs. If you're traveling with more than one small child, pick your favorite. If you're lucky, a life vest may be located under your seat. To wear it, tear open the plastic package, remove the life vest, and slip it over your head. Wrap the straps around your waist, snap the two ends together, and tighten. Inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tabs. This vest can be manually inflated by blowing into one end of the red tubes and is equipped with a water-activated locator light. How this works, I have no idea, but if you figure it out, please let us know. We have a good engine As a reminder, on your screen, it says fuel. Okay, aircraft, so that's because the, the engines aren't on yet. Disabling or destroying a lavatory smoke detector is prohibited. But if we now it's gone. Coming from the lavatories, we will assume you're on fire and put you out. This is a free service that we provide. On so there the are things crew, it is our on the enunciator panel that will flight. go away as we continue to move through the checklist. Unlocking gear. Okay. So now let's do gens one and two. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Pro Pete on. Left is clear. 
Right, so. to be here. Morning, Bob. How are you doing? In the event of sudden loss of cabin pressure, grab a waffle and enjoy. What a way to go. What a way to go. So, uh, Bob, my wife and I, there's a good chance we're going to parts of Europe in six weeks uh, for her work. And uh, they're doing a face-to-face -face in Amsterdam. Um, and, um, and then while we're there, we're going to try to see some other things as well. We're going to take a train to Brussels and Paris and, and maybe London. Because it's all like a couple hours apart from each other. Um, my understanding is there's some sort of waffles in Amsterdam. Like a, a Stroop waffle or some sort of waffle. I don't know. And they have them at these markets. So I would, I would like to get a waffle. Why didn't they turn you on pushback? Why didn't they turn me? Well, okay, why? I'll tell you why. Uh, Luis, I'm using something called GSX, which is a ground add-on. And it is not... They don't have a, a, a pattern, a pushback pattern built in for this airport. This is a, a random airport in China, and so they don't have it built in. If, if they did, they would put you exactly on the taxi line. But they didn't know where to put me because it wasn't compatible with this airport. Uh, Dorafly, greetings from Amsterdam. Welcome. Stroop waffles are the mutts nuts. Dorafly, are uh, are Stroop waffles pretty good? LPT, place the Stroop waffle over the top of your coffee. Is this a life pro tip or a little pro tip? Life pro tip. Place the Stroop waffle over the top of your coffee, tea, etc., to warm it up before eating. Ooh. So, yeah, so we're, we're, she's supposed to have this face to face meeting with her work because everybody works from home. Uh, Louise says, I'll have the waffles. You're welcome. Here, here you go. Here you go. He's got everything at your waffles. Wow. There you go. Fliggity's house of waffles. Maybe not as good as a Stroop waffle. So anyway, we were supposed to be there for a, a couple days or a few days. We don't know. They haven't told us the exact days. All we know is we've we've applied for our passports and we're waiting to get our passports back. Okay, ProPete is on. Packs are on auto. Isolation valve is not on auto. APU bleed off. APU off. Uh, Louis, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Okay, so that's good. Now, flaps and we'll check that our yoke is moving it is LNAV and VNAV okay auto throttle taxi lights auto brake and let's go Gentlemen, your captain from Flight Deck. It looks like those bribes got where they needed to go, and we've been cleared to taxi. Did you do your passport online? No. No, we went to our local post office and um, gave them all the information. They double checked it to make sure it was all good, and they sent it off. Now, my understanding is if you really, really, really look at that uh, engine piecing it together. Uh, if you really want your passport fast, my understanding is you can go to a regional center. The closest one to us is Chicago or Atlanta. And um, they will give you a passport there uh, on the spot. Good morning, Bunny. How are you doing, Bunny? Uh, however, if you had already paid for your passport, which we already have, 
Uh, my passport was $208, and we had to do that times two for my wife and I. So we spent, you know, almost $420 on passports. If we didn't want to do that because it wasn't coming in and we needed to get it quickly, and we decided we wanted to go to Chicago or Atlanta and say, hey, just give it to us quick so we can go, well, they would make the money we paid non-refundable and start all over and you'd have to pay all that again so you know it we just we're still waiting on the dates we know it's the week before thanksgiving but we don't know the official dates so we can plan everything around it we'll see i don't know doing good sleepy sleepy with a migraine and a little worried about my kitty why are you worried about your kitty John, I saw that livery you put in Discord. Good we Lord. Could they squeeze more information in a livery? Uh, felt a, uh, by the way, X-Men, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Hyverbo is Mr. Hammered Carlos. I, how am I supposed to call you Hyverbo? Aren't you just hammered, Carlos? Hello, hammered Carlos. How are you? So, uh, X Men guy Storm, thanks for the follow. Mermaz, is that what that is? Thank you for the follow. One more in your bots. I felt a relatively mid sized firm lump on her stomach, so I'm gonna call the vets once they open. She's perfectly fine with herself, but I'm just concerned. Sammy, Sammy has had a growth. Um, on his back for as long as I can remember. So I, I'm sure it's, I, I hope it's nothing to worry about, but I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. You're in Indiana now. Oh man. Where are you in Indiana? Indy? Uh, is that what Bunny said? You all were in Indianapolis? You're only two and a half hours away from me. North Indy. So, uh, more around, um, Warren Central? Is that close to, by Carmel? Yeah. Oh, Zionsville. Yeah, Saxman and I know Zionsville. Our group practiced at Zionsville Middle School this year. This, this past, uh, March. No, it was February. Yeah, we were at Zionsville Middle School in February. right up the road from you yeah it's a nice area and the carmel my gosh i mean i don't know if you know anything about marching band i wouldn't expect you to but are you aware that carmel has like one of the top bands in the country my understanding is my understanding is it's a very wealthy area and money and marching band or musical instruments do very well together Yeah, they, they do. Carmel has, and, and I just watched a video of them recently. Uh, Saxman, I don't know if you've seen Carmel's band this year. They have 16 Contras, tubas, if you, if you don't know, nine snare drums in their marching band. They would have made DCI semifinals, Saxman. Well, Hyverbo, we're not competing this year. We're taking this year off, and we'll see how it goes after this, but it, it that might be the last time we're in Zionsville. Um, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Mermaz has chatted with us before. 
Welcome, Irmaz. Thank you for the follow. Glad you're here. So did we decide on the in-flight entertainment? No, it's... I mean... Not a lot of time for in-flight entertainment. It'll be pretty quick. It's a 500-mile trip. Maybe I'll be here still. Maybe end up being based here in India after my flight training. Okay. What a lineup. What a lineup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. At least 14 of us starting this flight. Uh, may have fallen asleep. Sorry, Phoenix. I, I have that way with people. <laughs> See Amplify too. Amplify is that the Mustang? Is that what that is? The C five ten. Do you like it? Have you flown it before? Jado, they look good from here. Like, we're going to be flying over that. That should be really pretty. I might as well do the things. So we don't hold you all up. John opting for more runway. I think it's plenty long enough, John. That's what she said. It's not too different from the CJ4. Yeah, Hammered Carlos, you're not going to like some of the things you see. <laughs> um, an enforced blackout. What's going on with blackout, Silent Bob? Why is that happening?
That's cool. <clears throat> um, we are warned uh, the parts of the country will have three-hour power cuts to save gas. Do you think that will still be the case in six weeks? Man, look at that mountain range. Jeez. It's pretty. It's so pretty. We're suffering out here in the UK. It's a disaster. What do you mean suffering? What's going on? John? 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 What are you doing? No. John posted his flight plan. No, no, no. John posted his flight plan in Discord. Look at it in Discord. John, you need to delete waypoints. De delete them, John. <laughs> You're gonna, it's gonna, this is gonna add 30 minutes to your, well, what do you care? You're gonna be flying for another eight hours. <laughs> uh, Gabriel, thank you for the follow and hello. Welcome. How are you? Okay, let me uh, let me catch up here. Um, Hammered Carlos said the other day we had a student cross 1432 here in Indy on the wrong taxiway with a Gulf Stream on two mile final. Wow, that's scary. Yeah, that's way scary. Probably just started by then. They want to wait until it gets cold to kill maximum amount of old people. Is that what it is? You're not joking. I feel like you're joking. Bunny said the cost of living crisis is appalling. The housing market is an absolute mess. If you ever want to mortgage a home, you can forget it. Uh, being in your 20s in the UK really is such a big F you. So, so here's what I just read. What I just read was Silent Bob said they're trying to kill the maximum amount of old people and Bunny says, if you're in your 20s, Put it's it in a big F you. So apparently it doesn't matter how old you are. I mean, so where I live, you know, the housing market is, is crazy. Our, our house almost doubled in value over the last year. I mean... And I think everybody's house did, for the most part, in the United States. Like, everybody's house just went up. But the problem was that didn't do you any good because if you sold your house, you still had to buy a very expensive house. So it didn't, it doesn't matter that our house went up in value because every house went up in value. So it doesn't do us any good to sell 
if we're just going to have to spend more money on a different house. So then they have increased mortgage rates to try to to make people stop buying because everybody was trying to sell their house for so uh, so much money but because the mortgage rates were so low we just become best friends? Yep. every house was didn't being sold didn't want more ads uh, Hammer Carlos, Hyperbo, thank you for the four months thank you, thank you could be income bracket well I mean, obviously, lower income bracket are going to feel it more, right? They'll feel it. Um, all I know is that houses where I live, and I'm sure it was everywhere in the United States, houses where I live were selling immediately because the mortgage rates were so low. Problem was, if you sold your house, it was, it was so expensive to buy another one. But the mortgage rates were low. So you could, but we just held out. We held out. The 737 does perform much better than the 320. What do you mean perform? Like in the sim or as an aircraft? Brace yourself. You just keep losing, don't you? Well, we have an advantage climbing. This plane, this 600, is is like a rocket. This thing is... I mean, it just moves. I'm climbing, and I'm 300 knots. And I'm climbing at 2,300 feet. The interest rate is now crippling if you have a tracker mortgage. What's a tracker mortgage? Bittersweet's right, John. No one. And then you and then you want a, a raffle. Look at you. I told you never trust the monkey. Uh, that's a mod win. Brace yourself, Hapes, Bittersweet Raven. That is a mod win. Brace yourself is just about a thousand points away from ending the season. It does, Hyperbo. It this thing does move. Look at those mountains, boy. That's really pretty. Jeez, who would have thought? Look at that. Man. Wow. Yeah, with the very impressive. Impressive. Um, okay, Wiffy, I believe, did the Folgers commercial redeem. Yeah, so I'll play that for you. The day's looking new and bright, and you're gonna start it right. Folgers. Your morning like mountain grown filters because mountain grown coffee has more enticing aroma and richer flavor than any other kind. That rich aromatic blend, your best morning friend, starts you off feeling good. The day goes like it should. The best part of waking up is filters. There you go. Um, let me catch up here. Catch up. Devious said, I'm just mind blown about the fact that traders walked through these mountains with wares to sell. 
I mean, I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess you'd find some sort of valley. It looks like there's one down there, but... Can you imagine? I mean, this is... And the elevation here, right? Like, just the the elevation down on the ground is is way up. We're already at 32,000 feet. That's so crazy. We're going to arrive at 142 my time. We're going to arrive in an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, Sergeant Vegas says, I just got a MSFS. Love it, but any recommendations for how to properly learn how to use various airframes? YouTube. Find a, find a plane you want to learn. There are, if it's, if it's a third party plane like this one, a PMDG 737, there are plenty of videos on it. Now, if it's like a stock plane that comes with a sim, maybe not as much, but I would watch as many videos as you can. That's what I did. I just watched a ton of YouTube videos and asked a lot of questions on stream. <coughs> oh, what Wiffy said. What Wiffy said. And what John said. And what Vigorish said. Uh, Silent Bob said, we had such low interest rates that people had mortgages that tracked the interest rate. Now it's going it's up and it's adding. Night. So what's going on, Beatles? Hey, how are you doing, Beatles? I know the mountains look awesome, don't they? Um, so, Silent Bob, let me get this right. You said people got mortgages with low interest rates, but they weren't fixed. Is that what you're saying? They weren't fixed interest rates? And so, then the interest rate went back up because they didn't get fixed rates. And they get screwed. And they took that chance. I mean, that's a chance you take. I can tell you that 20 years ago, I not fixed, right. Silent Bob, 20 years ago, I bought the house I'm in still, right? I've been in the same little tiny house for 20 years. And it was a fixed mortgage rate. And I didn't know any better because I was young. The mortgage rate I got 20 years ago was five and three quarter percent, which is pretty high. It's pretty high, but it was fixed. So I know that it's never going to change, no matter what. Even if, if they, they just try to drive it up, I know my five and three quarters right there. They won't let me, Beatles. <clears throat> they won't let me, Hapes. I tried. I'll tell you why. Um, I called my bank and said I would like to refinance, and they said... No, no, they said... You don't owe enough money. Okay. We owe, I'm not going to say, but we owe a certain amount of money and it's not enough for the bank to deal with. I called them, I asked, and they said, the only way you could, you don't need to use the same bank. You're right. You're right. And I could check. I could check, but um, the only way my bank that... I did the loan through would let me is if our credit was way, way up. And it was really close. Like, ours was really close to it because we don't have bad credit. But, I mean, we just weren't able to do it. Um, so, yeah, it sucks. Go to a new bank. They want your business. Yeah, I, we, we could. We could. Uh, Vigor said another tip for first time home buyers. Ask the bank for a lump sum PMI payoff if you can't quite scrape together a 20% down payment. Yeah, the PMI is what sucks. Tell them you'll fly a 737 into their bank. No, I won't say that. Sergeant Vegas, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm going to, I mean, I, I could, I could um, look at other lenders. Um... I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to check and see. I mean, 
Listen, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, we, we don't have an expensive house payment, you know, because we have been in this house for 20 years. We, we don't have an expensive house payment. We're lucky. <clears throat> you work in finance, Sergeant Vegas? You want to, you want to refinance me a home loan? <laughs> Are we live? Yes, O'Doyle. 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 We're live. How are you doing? It's that the risk you take, though, when you borrow a large sum of money. Is that the risk you take, though, when you borrow a large sum of money? You get a fixed or variable rate loan and both have pros and cons? Yeah, because if you get a fixed rate, like you can set, like I, I got a five and three quarter percentage rate, which is pretty high. But I was like, I'll keep it fixed. And that way, if it went up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten then I don't deal with that. I don't have to deal with it. If you've never refinanced, you probably have a lot of equity in that house for a home equity loan. I guarantee you we do. I guarantee, I will tell you, we probably have, without giving numbers, we probably have about 70%. Is that right? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going backwards. We have about 130% equity. The question is, what's the question of Doyle? We did a 15 year with the higher payment. It was a struggle, but we feel it paid off in the end. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Whatever you can do to pay off uh, or to pay less interest rate is the key it, when it's all said and done. Right? The more principal you can pay, the better. Uh, Babos uh, said 20 years in, most of your payment is starting to go towards principal, right? That's my understanding, yes. My understanding, yes. So, you know, like, we bought our house, and we owe about half of what's left on it. But it's worth almost twice as much as we bought it for. If that makes sense. So, we bought our house... We have almost half left to pay what we bought it for, but it's worth almost twice as much as what we bought it for. Wow, two, two and a quarter. That's crazy. Uh, Beatles says, any new planes coming soon? I think the A380 from Flyby Wire is coming soon, right, you all? Is that the one we should be looking forward to the most? Oh, and a balloon. Beatles, there are balloons coming. Ice Cube says this talk stresses me out. Okay, don't talk about it anymore. We're not here to stress people out. I don't want balloons. <laughs> balloons. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ice Cube. No more talk about house payments. Oh, wait. Mal, Mal's talking about it, Ice Cube. I had a friend whose parents lost a house because of a flexible interest rate, and that was 15 years ago. Vigorous wants to buy a Waffle House. Raven said, me over here realizing that with my mindset of don't buy it if you can't pay for it all at once. Yeah, but that doesn't work with houses. You're just not going to be able to do that with a house. You're just going to have to deal with it. It's just part of it. Or you, or, or you live in an apartment and basically throw that money away. You could live in an apartment for 10 years and then after that 10 years realize you have nothing to show for it. You know? <clears throat> Read the rest of what I wrote. I was. You said I'd have to knock over freaking Fort Knox to be able to own a two-room shack, a haunted two-room shack at that. That's not true. That's not true. I'm sure you can find something. Uh, the Aerosoft A330 revealed their EFB. I saw that salty. Yeah, Mal. Uh, Mal said uh, apartments now cost almost much as our mortgage does. Yes, they do. A apartments are not cheap now. They are not cheap. We do. Hapes, we only have two video redeems. Hey, only two video redeems. We're going to be doing some in-flight entertainment here soon. 
but I only have two video redeems. So if you want to spend the thousand waffles and do a video redeem for tonight, go ahead and do that. We have three spots left. Um, finding something and financing lower than eight points right now are two very different things. Financing lower than 8%? Are you saying sub 8% is tough? Is my landing going to be posted in chat? As long as you're hooked into landing rate monitor, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that, Sax Man. So my so you're telling me my five and three quarters is pretty good then at this point. Uh, what's going on, OC? Need to find a cheaper city. Got to live out in the country. You'd slap your mother for five and three quarter? Jeez, I didn't realize that. All right, so um, we don't have a long trip, so we need to get to this. Um, how about this? We have Hapes and Mr. Figgity for two videos. I'm going to give you two minutes to redeem a video. All right, I'm going to put a timer on screen. You have two minutes. After two minutes, I'm closing the competition two minutes the only way you can donate is if you have a PayPal account I think so yes I think so yeah Saxman's got one we got two more spots on the video And Larson is in. We have Unama spot. <clears throat> Sorry, John. I don't make the rules. I just play by them. Can you fly a Bombardier Dash 3100? I don't know what that is. I know, Wiffy, it looks great, doesn't it? Forty-five seconds. Yeah, these mountains are crazy. Would not have expected this. All that detail. And there it is. Raven has done it. We can close the timer. All right. So. So we're going to do uh, five video redeems. Uh, we'll vote on who we think is the best. We'll start with Hapes. No, Raven. Raven, you, you got your video in. Here we go. Now, this is a five-minute music video. I will probably not watch all of it or any of it if it doesn't load. I 
still have internet, right? There it goes. Oh, this looks rough. What year is this? 2006. He's taking on VHS? This is rough. This is a rough start. And it goes a little something like this. I can't tell what they're saying. It looks like Andy Melanakis. It honestly looks like the two bussers in waiting. So it's okay. Something about a hobbit. Oh my god. The Bilbo Baggins song from Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> and it's done. That's all you get. The name's T Dog. <laughs> Unbearable. <laughs> what does he call him? Uh, Theodore! <laughs> it's T Dog. <laughs> Uh, hapes. It didn't, it didn't survive. Did you even get to the really, well, listen. For future notice, if you want me to watch a really good bit, tell me to start at a certain time. Because if I don't survive to that part, there's nothing I can do. Alright, who is this? The whole song is great. I'm sure it is. I just didn't get through it. This is Mr. Figgity. Here we go. Again, loading. Don't blame me that my internet sucks. Is that what it is? The second one was too late and lame. The first is a classic. The first is a classic. What is going on? Okay, I've never had this issue. I just did. I just did, Sax Man. Okay, all I did was advance it. That's a weird bug. This is Mr. Figgity. Oh, that's, uh, Austria. Austria! Nuschwanstein. Raven's gonna like this. That is a high voice. WD40, what's up, WD40? I 
I'll go through Unomas Chorus. Uh, unbearable, I agree. I did not care for Coming to America 2 that much. It was okay. It was okay, but not nearly as good as the first. Agreed. All right, let's hear this la the second chorus. I love it. That's really good. Dig that. I like that song. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, very good, Mr. Figgity. Yeah, he is up there. Love that. Hape's no longer in first. That's right. <laughs> Shadow says, OMG, everyone was passing. I took forever to get to flight level 360. My flaps were still down. <laughs> Uh, he does some Nightwish covers. Well, Raven, that's like right up your alley. Very good. Very good tune. Uh, also, um, Beatles said, what type of airliner is most likely to fly from New York to Las Vegas? An A320? Um, I know that's what I take from Cincinnati to Las Vegas. I love that. I love the, like, how high can you sing? All right. Now it's Saxman's turn. Does anyone think Saxman has a chance to beat that song? An Astro, hold on. Come here. Come on. Come here. You go away. Come here. Come on. Oh, I know. Come here. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Well, you know, I didn't expect it, Sax Man. I did not expect that. Uh, I may get squished, but I'll be happy. <laughs> he is, uh, he is such a sweet boy. Yo, I am Jado. I'm absolutely struggling to breathe. It's 90 pounds. 90 pounds of just weight. Oh, gosh. Uh, that video. Can we... Can we watch it one more time? Which is kind of the... The rules of the game. If I'm going to watch it twice... Mm 
Now it won't load again. I don't understand what's going on with YouTube. <sighs> Something's up with my YouTubes. Let's try again. It won't load. I don't know what to do. I did control shift R. I've never had this issue with uh, YouTube. Let's see here. Let me. I wonder if. Hmm. Let me see. I wonder if there's. Try it in a different browser. Put it in the vault. I'm locking the vault. It's a vault. Let's see if it's a browser issue. No, the same exact thing is happening in Chrome. Okay, well, it's going now. the final <laughs> oh good lord all right so uh saxman is winning i did not expect saxman to get that <clears throat> i know twisted reaper that was uh saxman's uh redeem we're doing a video contest that was number three out of five this is four out of five if it works it might not work What's the point of that machine? It's burping the baby. So again, I cannot, I cannot get my YouTube to work. I don't know what's going on. Let's try Chrome again. Might be an edge issue. I don't know. It is not an edge issue. It's happening in Chrome as well. Dang, I don't know what's going on with these. like brace yourself lost points again I don't know what it is I, I probably not I mean I don't know is YouTube down because I've, I've never had this issue before ever YouTube is fine maybe for you Okay, this is Larson. A, a business analyst. Fascinating. <laughs> How the hell is that work? Go to a business and go, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> You are a business. <laughs> Tweets coming up that it is struggling. Thank you, Centauri. So, where are we before this? Thank you, before Devious. This, we in, uh, Not just me.
<laughs> the elephant disappeared. Saw it, John. Thank you, John. Just Looks like it is an issue. Oh my god, he's juggling now. You should see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the hell are they thinking? And it is the show and on this guy started to piss me off. I never actually seen myself talk before. So now I thought, okay, I'm gonna get evil with this guy. And suddenly, in the no, Nathan the show, plays I went, games. Hey, I'm not. Stop sign. Thank you. Turn around. Doing, doing. Horseshoe. Turtle. Digga, 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 digga. I've only seen a few comedians live. Funny. Of course, now he's just sitting there. <laughs> All the deaf folks are like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what are we missing? <laughs> <laughs> what you call a player in a. All right, well, not as good as the baby. So we have uh, Uno Mas, and it is Ravens. Wait. Is it going to be Barbara Seville? Is it the Barbara Seville? <laughs> No, it's... Oh, I don't know if it is. I can't hear it. The volume is so low on it. I can't hear it at all. And it's cranked. It's max volume. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? Alaska! What's up, Jake? Yeah, I can't, I can't. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it here. Hold on. Yeah, it's 100%. How is that possible? I'm sorry, I can't hear it. I can't hear it and I can't do anything to make it louder. It is as loud as it can go on my end. I mean, when you compare the volume of that compared to... Hold on. Like, I'm not going to do anything different. This was the original video that we watched. Listen to that volume. Like, it's blasting. So I can't... I just can't hear it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Raven's got one. All right. Try that one. All right. I mean, I know my volume works. YouTube is struggling. It's a rough time to do video redeems when YouTube's down. Sorry, I don't know what to do. Try it in Chrome. And that'll be the last try. Uh -oh. 
Like fish, baby. My stars. It's better. Where did you ever get that awful hairdo? It doesn't become you at all. Here, for goodness sake. Let me fix it up. How stringy and messy it is. What a shame. Such an interesting monster, too. Love Bugs Bunny. My stars. If an interesting monster can't have an interesting hairdo, then I don't know what things are coming to. <laughs> In my business, you meet so many interesting people. Bobby Pin, please. But the most interesting ones are the monsters. Bobby Pin, please. Oh, dear, that'll never stay. We'll just have to have a permanent. 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 <laughs> Interesting old lady, a manicure. But I'll be back before you're done. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ties it up. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Love Bugs Bunny. However, Saxman's your winner. <sighs> GG, Saxman. Yeah, something's going on with YouTube. I don't know what it was. Um, all right, let me look here. At our mileage. Yeah, listen. We we can't do any other wow, in-flight entertainment. What a lineup. But don't worry yes, about Mal. It. Uh, what's up, Talk Trash? Having the cockpit view at the seat screen is actually awesome. Thank you. Uh, I asked Brace Yourself if we could do that, and Brace Yourself created it. And then we've got it where I you can... You never tried the monkey. can even change uh, one of the screens to do random videos. You know, just for whatever. Um, so, well, listen, we're not going to have time. We're not going to have time for in-flight entertainment on this. Uh, hey, good night. Um, the, the descent is in 60 miles. Do a canyon run. Look at those mountains. We are supposed to land at, uh, 137 my time, so... Listen, after streaming... No, I know, Larson. I'm going to fix that in a second. I'm going to switch this. Hold on. Uh, after streaming last night for almost five hours, uh, we will probably call it Renaissance. We will probably call it because last night was a, a long night. Um, not to mention these dogs are getting a little restless, so I'll probably... You know, by the, listen, by the time, it, it says 1.37 my time, but by the time we get going, it'll probably be like 1.45, so it'll only be like 15 minutes early. Nothing too crazy. Um, so we'll probably just focus on the landing, and um, we'll look and see. I, I will look now. Tomorrow's flight is 793 nautical miles. So tomorrow we will definitely have in-flight entertainment. That's going to be... Uh, a normal like two and a half hour flight oh uh, i know jado i know and look you can see like look down there there's a there's a huge huge area down here look at this like that right there along this river and and look at the topography of this you have this whole lake right this huge lake and then it goes down, down here, to that city. I mean, they, this place is, you know, probably doing pretty well, unless it's, coffee it's not. Time. Coffee, 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 coffee. All right, let me, yes. let me look at our, um, our flight plan. Our discontinuity is probably fine. Renaissance, we are landing in Afghanistan. So if I click this, you'll be able to see a little bit better.
So there was that large lake, and of course we can't read this. Can't read it. Dushan Bay. Is that to the, let's look to the right. Uh, that's probably over there. See that right there? Dushanbe. We're landing in Afghanistan, yeah, John. That's where we're flying to on this flight. We are flying to this Mazar El Sharif. We're going there. And you can see we are over Tajikistan right now. And then we're going to go over the border and land in northern Afghanistan. Right there. So this is us here. We're flying southwest. And then this, we'll have to look and see. I don't know if this is exactly what it's going to be. It, it probably won't. So we'll adjust it. Yeah, it's crazy scenery. See you, Sax man. Take care. Don't think you've ever been here on the sim, right? No. No, no, we have flown in Afghanistan. Uh, Tajikistan, no. We've never been in Tajikistan, but we have been in Afghanistan. Steep descent to avoid enemy fire. Oh, gosh, Misty. Okay, let me... Let's, um... Let's let's look at this a little bit closer and get an idea of what we're looking at where this discontinuity is, okay? So we're watching this screen. So we go from Octab to Ertaj now, okay. So then we so the comb, we need to get rid of comb. I can already see. And it looks like we need to get rid of Zardo. Right? Let's make sure. We are doing runway 24. Yeah. So we need to get rid of these two. Uh, exactly that, Walk Ninja. Exactly that. So I'm going to click 2, replace comb, execute, and boom. Look at that. Straight line in. Now that might change. Yeah. That might change our top of descent. I f I hear us slowing down. Actually, we're way slow. So now it says, because of that, we're going to be landing four minutes earlier. Oh, crap. I never entered in the other altitude. Oh, this is bad. It's a huge oops. Huge oops. We got to get down to 3,000 feet. We'll never make it. Might be doing vectors. Oh my God, what a disaster. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. No, it's not. No, it's not. It says we are 7,000 feet too high. So, full spoilers. Ladies and gentlemen, please immediately assume the brace yourself position as we are about to make an unscheduled and sudden stop. <laughs> it's not true. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our descent. Please turn off all portable electronic devices and stow them until we've arrived at the gate. In preparation for landing, please secure your carry-on items, stow at your tray table, and pass any remaining service items and unwanted reading materials to the flight attendants. Thank you. All right, uh, 5,900 feet descent. Holy crap. Ooh, how clumsy of me. <laughs> how clumsy of me. Mal, do you know that movie? Do you know Waiting? <laughs> we. <laughs> we are... Well, the good news is we were at 218 knots, so we have room to, to speed up. <laughs> I'm all thumbs today. That's a sound effect. I forgot what it is. Is it thumbs? All thumbs? It is a sound effect. It's not thumbs. All thumbs? Oh, man, look what I did. I'm all thumbs today. <laughs> See? We have a lot of sound effects here. So just like that, He's the mountain's fading away. The yellow one is the sun. All right, so we're now 3,500 feet too high. We were 7,000, so we're we're making progress. It's, you know what, unbearable. I don't realize it until I watch that movie, how many lines I quote from that movie. Like I didn't realize it until I was watching it. I was like, my gosh, I say these lines all the time. Man, look at the, those names. Look at all of you all right there. Amplifies way to the left. I don't know what Amplifies doing. The scenery here is so cool. <laughs> Theodore! You don't know what you're doing? I'm sure you do. Now we're 2,000 feet above. All right, I think we're going to be okay. Good recovery. Pull the lever, Hunk. Roll Couldn't get above flight level 280, so I took a slightly different route for safety. Safety first. Oh yeah! He's the sovereign lord of the nation. He's the hippest cat in creation. He's the alpha, the omega, A to Z. Hello, hello. <sighs> I know. I was waiting for it too. Brace yourself. You need to grab that sound effect next. I'm sorry, you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. What is going on? <laughs> Shawnee. All right, so we're now only 800 feet above. Good recovery. What's our point situation? It's 
23658. Still not there. And now Raven has taken over Jado for second. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Do you know that line, Mal? Do you know that line? It's on Howard Stern all the time. From the Three Stooges. Uh, Unbearable said, me and several friends used to play the game. Did you? Once got 10 friends and three innocent young ladies at a party with the goat. <laughs> Check out the bat wing. Yeah, it's a good one, Ice Cube. We have a few uh, Howard Stern sound effects. It's 4.15 on a Friday. You're calling it. It's now officially the weekend. Boy, how nice is that to be able to just do that? To just make that decision. It's so veiny. You gotta make it flat like paper. You've seen a little bit of the Three Stooges a long time ago. You know, I will tell you, the Adams Family was on sale one time on iTunes. The entire series of the Adams Family. Maybe like 70 episodes. I don't know how many. And it was like $9.99. Alright, it was like 10 bucks for the entire series on iTunes. And I was like, okay, I'll grab it. Because I never really watched that when I was growing up. I was It was before my time. And um, I enjoy watching those episodes. Sort of watching a few of them. I like them. I've got this app. I've talked about it on stream. It's called Cheap Charts. If you have Apple products and you use iTunes or, um, you know, any kind of Apple movies or Apple TV or anything like that, cheap charts, uh, you can add items to your wish list and it will monitor if the prices adjust. It will also tell you what the cheapest price it's ever been or what the most expensive it's ever been. So, like, for instance, the old Planet of the Apes movies. I like the original Planet of the Apes movies. And there's a series of them, right? There's like, what, six? Um, and it's currently on my wish list. And at one point, it got down to $19.99 to own all six. But currently, it's $49.99. And it's been $49.99 for a while. But I can see that it, at one point, it was $19.99. So I've just got it on my wish list, and I just can keep looking and just check and see what, what dropped today. Are there any... And like, uh, I think I added, like, the Jetsons at one point. The, the entire series of the Jetsons was, like, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. I don't know what it was. Maybe 10 I think it was 10 bucks. You know, just to have access to those because sometimes it's hard to, to watch those kinds of shows, and I like those older shows. It's a good, good app. Cheap charts. Kids today. So desensitized by movies and television. What do you want? I'll be watching that soon. One of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, Gomez and Morticia are relationship goals. Uh, I agree with that. And I'll fight anyone on that. They worshipped each other. They adored their children with unconditional love and were over all good people. Compare that to other couples on TV at that time, and the Adams were hands down the best. Yeah, it, absolutely. What would I wear? Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. They, they have a, a great on-screen relationship that's so believable. If you do that with Star Trek original series, you'll laugh at episode one. I'm sure I would. I have Next Generation and Deep Space Nine the entire series because I was able to get those at one point the entire series for like $29.99 Mal you said my favorite too what the Grinch I just laugh and laugh and laugh at the Grinch
Next Generation was my fave too, Ice Cube. It was, it was when, you know, when I was in middle school and high school is when Next Generation was on. So, and I didn't have cable, so it was on Fox and I had like four channels. <clears throat> um, so it was definitely the one I grew up with the most. Where Are You Christmas is a great song, Mal. Agreed. Misty Beetlejuice is a classic. <laughs> Your heart's an empty hole. I love it. There, I know that's another movie I quote a lot. Love it so much. Man, look at this. I mean, if you had to guess what country this was, I might say Afghanistan. Sammy's about ready to go OUT, but I'm going to land this plane. trying to get Sammy to come up, but he won't. Oh, that's pretty cool, Ice Cube. Put it in the vault. I'm locking the vault. It's a vault! Is anybody gonna die? Thank you, Raven. Somebody's gotta Thank you, Raven. So, yeah, this stream is probably going to end a little earlier. Again, last night was almost a five-hour stream, so I'm probably gonna bail a little early tonight on this one the dogs are starting to eye me a little bit so we'll watch the recording of the landing and then go park and then we'll we'll call it but tomorrow will be another normal flight uh when how the grinch stole christmas came out in 2000 where are you christmas really spoke to me because i was at that age where it wasn't the same anymore oh that's so sad Mal, I will tell you, I will tell you that we never, ever talked to our daughters about Santa. We just never, ever said anything, and it just, it just kind of, I, I guess, just kind of fizzled. Yeah, no, I know. We never had the talk. Yeah, right, Jado. Because it was just one of those things that we... Like, we wanted them to believe as long as possible. You know? We just wanted them to. We didn't want to take that away from them. <clears throat> I'm sure... It, and we've never talked about it. Ever. I'm sure at some point we will talk about it. But I'd rather not. Because as a parent, you want, you want them to feel that innocent. I found out when I was 
probably about 12 years old. <clears throat> um, I was, uh, I, I was playing on my parents' bed or something, and I looked over the headboard and I saw a synthesizer. And I asked what it was, and they told me. All right, I need to slow down. I know. They're both getting really restless. I think I was five when my brother and I found all our future gifts in a closet hidden. Now that's too early. <clears throat> that sucks unbearable. I don't know when I don't know when mine found out. But I hate the idea of, of kids ruining it because they're just jerks. Mouse said a few months ago, my daughter in second grade was told by a classmate that the tooth fairy wasn't real. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, and by the way, Mal, I'm sure you know this. As a parent, one of the most stressful things you will ever, ever, ever do is take that tooth and switch it for money under a pillow while your kid is sleeping. Like, heart racing for me personally because my wife would be sleeping because she'd go to bed early and I'd have to do it and I'd be like I don't want to be the reason I don't want to have to tell my wife that it's my fault and there was one time where my daughter woke up and I just froze I moved away real quick at the other side of the bedroom and I just stood like a statue and didn't move at all and then she went back to bed. It was awful. You feel like Tom Cruise every time? That's funny. No. These dogs. Uh, I make them keep the tooth in a tooth box. My kids sleep like rocks. Smart. I'm dealing with lifting their pillow while they're asleep. I blew the Easter Bunny's cover with one of my nephews recently. My sister-in-law blew me up. He was 12, <laughs> so I didn't feel bad. <laughs> Your sister-in-law blew you up. You came this close to your daughter waking up and seeing you just standing perfectly still in the corner of the room. That's, it was like the scene from the end of the, the Blair Witch Project. Remember when he goes down in the basement and the guy's standing in the corner? That's what I looked like. kids pretend to be asleep but secretly no uh i don't know maybe i felt like mine wanted to be asleep because they didn't want to spoil it man look at this now that scenery don't you think that scenery has just been cut off? Maybe, maybe it is like that. I don't know. That's weird. Mm -hmm. 
Is it good to land with auto throttle on? Uh, no. You should turn it off. Um, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my autopilot and auto throttle off. I think you're supposed to do it around 500 feet, but I usually do it a little lower. You don't think it's great, Misty? Everything I saw with Canada was good, but we might have seen different parts. Wonder why they're not calling out altitudes. All right, so my auto throttle's off. Waffles, waffles, waffles. Rally snail win, no ice cube. Oh, wait, it was Renaissance. Dang, Rally snail, I thought you were gonna get it. You've been winning so much lately. This isn't what you're supposed to do, right? Hurry up, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, that's close. Bagel, bagel. That's bagel. close. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that on the runway. <laughs> that was funny. That's funny. There's Amplify. Look at you right in front of me. And keep the aisle clear until we're parked at the gate. The captain will then turn off the fasten seat belt sign, indicating that it is safe to hey, stand. Hey, Ninjax, you're landing. Are you in here? Are you in, uh, since articles may have shifted during flight. Ninjax, are you in We'd chat? Like thank you for flying with us today. The next time Walk we get Ninja the was insane, asking earlier. blasting through the skies in a pressurized metal tube, we hope you'll remember that nobody loves you and your money, like Fleety Air. Okay, so we're going to watch the replay. I'm not going to park. We're going to go watch the replay. However, I'm curious how Jadot's getting ready to land. I'm curious if this will put me close to Jadot. Oh, it puts me ahead of Jadot. Jeez. Okay. Um, okay, let me catch up. Um, Mal says, my kids will not wake up unless they want to be woken up. My daughter had night terrors when she was three, where she would walk around and sometimes, and it would all be because she needed the bathroom in the middle of the night. Interesting. Nathan, uh, is that you? Are you Ninjax? Nathan plays a game. Is that you? What's up, Wasman? Wasman, we're going to be ending a little early tonight because last night went to like 4 a.m. Oh, okay, Walk Ninja. I thought it was for something else. Yeah, sorry, Wasman. We played a lot of GeoGuessr last night, and then this was a shorter flight tonight, and I didn't really... My dogs are getting a little irritable, I can tell. So I'm going to go on and... Instead of, like, delaying it and doing something really quick at the end, we'll just call it. Oh, crap! No! I clo I was able to close the the chat bot but not landing rate monitor. Oh, it's a standoff.
This will be an interesting turn. I could say we've never done that before. That's not easy to do. Uh, my daughter will also pull 32 hour days on me, so I had to start locking the electronics and TV so she couldn't keep watching shows. 32 hours? That's crazy. <laughs> first 737 J turn. When, do, when was your first one? Brace yourself. I gotta make sure I got credit. did thank goodness all right that was leg number five tomorrow we are um we're going from afghanistan to iran and that might be our very first flight in iran as well so very cool very cool All right, well, a great lineup, great group, great flight. It was a quicker one, but that's okay. First time she did it, it was the night before her sister's first Saturday school dance class. Oh my gosh, and she was probably exhausted. So, we are done for the night hope you had a good time tonight um already have this doing it for community have a great thank you Jado. thank you i see uh misty's coming in too misty is moving hold on hold on Just the 320. It looked like you're moving faster. Uh, are you supposed to get credit for these flights? Yes, you are, Larson. And I saw you did get credit because you landed. It, it showed up in chat. Night, Shawnee. Night, reset. little early but safely down look at this place jeez this is a, a large airport for a small area isn't it oh never mind it's over there that's much bigger over there much larger. Jeez. Very large area. All right, we're done. Thank you all so much for being here. Hope you had a good time. Tomorrow we will do the next flight on the trip. It will be a longer flight, so there will be in-flight entertainment. Thank you again. Let's go see who we are going to raid. Night, Mal. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's gonna make. Bacon pancakes. 
So I know a lot of you all are going to go see Raven. Let's go Don't together. Please leave. I want everyone out. Uh, we're going to say hi to Raven, Bittersweet. You can't talk us out of it, Bittersweet. We're going to say hi to Raven. So let's go say hi. Thank you all again. Hope you all have a great day tomorrow night, everybody.